In this video, we provide the solution to question number six for the practice exam number one for Math 1060. And we're asked to compute the length of the arc associated to the central angle of a circle where the circle has a radius of three centimeters and the measurement of the central angle is 100 degrees. Now to compute arc length, we're gonna use the formula S equals R theta, where S is the length of the arc r is the radius of the circle the length of that radius and theta is the measurement of the angle but that measurement does have to be in radians the angle was given to us in degrees so we have to convert it to radians first so if theta equals 100 degrees to convert it to radians we're going to multiply by pi over 180 degrees we want to simplify this fraction here now be aware we do not have access to a calculator on this part of the test so we'll just have to do it by hand we can see that 100 and 180 both have a factor of 10 because their last digit is a zero you can cancel that out um, notice that also that 10 and 18 have a common factor of 2 10 is 2 times 5 and 18 is 2 times 9 so we can rewrite this angle in radians as 5 pi over 9 that's the angle measure so to compute the arc length we're going to take 3 centimeters and times it by the 5 pi over 9 radians um, you could take 3 times 5 and get 15 pi over 9 centimeters uh, but we do want this to be simplified notice of course that 3 does go into 9 you get that exactly three times. And so we see the distance, the length of the arc that is, is going to be 5 pi over 3 centimeters. And so that causes us to select choice B as the correct answer.